Mandy Murray. It's great to be here. Welcome to Kitchen Songs. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, putting us up, uh, keeping us up to all hours and things, you know, as is your want. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You don't um, seem to mind too much. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's expected, really. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're going to play uh, Mandy Murray's, which is a, a Tim O'Leary composition. Mm -hmm. That's, um, it's so you, isn't it? How did he manage to do that? I was, that was a fantastic tune. Know. It's quite an old tune. I think he wrote it maybe 25 years ago. Um, yeah, and wrote it and, and then said it was my tune. And it, yeah, it's it's captures something about me I think I don't know how he did it but yeah. I think it's a great tune I love it and I never get tired of playing it really yeah. fantastic tune he's written lots and lots of tunes um, but that's the one that that's the one I like best really right. and he's he's from um, Kerry is he he's from Ken Mayer yeah Ken Mayer. Mm. yeah I think originally he I think he was born in Waterford but then moved to Ken Mayer when he was quite young I think yeah. I've got my facts right yeah yeah, I thought that we'd, we could have a talk a little bit about place, really, since we're both uh, London Irish mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, uh, there was a great musical community that we were lucky enough to to uh, rise, uh, rise up through. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I was wondering whether you thought there were any... I mean, as singers, because we're both singers, you, there's an identifiable mark. You can't get away from the accent that comes through when you're singing. Do you think there are any identifiable traits instrumentally uh, either yourself or, or mm. any other players that that that, that you could uh, describe well, of london irish players I, th I think there is i think there is a london irish sort of sound i think that i think there is and i think that's sort of recognized in in parts of ireland i think that i think there is a recognition that there's almost a sort of regional style Mm. from London but I think I think it's such a conglomeration of mm. influences there were so many people around when we were kids growing up I mean we were really really lucky yeah the, the sort of time and the place because we were surrounded by people from all o over Ireland playing really different styles and we were we had access to all those people so there was Danny from Johnny Gore there was Bobby Casey from West Clare there was a real mm. mixture and I think all of that fed feeds in yeah. to creating a sort of... I mean, my, I'm very influenced by East Galway music and East Clare music, and that's mainly because I was taught by Brendan Mulcair, and he was from... A he's huge from, he's, influence, he's wasn't from, he, really? He was a massive influence, and, yeah, he was a really massive influence on me, And he, but he brought lots of musicians over as well, and a lot oh. of not very well-known musicians, so we had access to, to oh. people from, you know very tiny places around Clare and Galway where mm. you wouldn't have normally had heard those musicians playing really. So that, that music, I was very drawn to that music, the music of East Galway particularly, and those musicians like Paddy Carty and, and mm. you know, some of the concertina players, Paddy Murphy, from more from West Clare. But, but I, so I think I was influenced by that sort of style, that sort of I always used to think that they played slower, but they don't actually play slower. I think I used to play a lot slower than I do now, but it's a, yeah. it's quite a plaintive. The tunes are quite plaintive. They're minor keys. They're quite sad. They sound quite sad, um, and I'm very drawn to those kinds of tunes. But I think equally, all of those different people in London, they have to feed into to some sort of... There is a sound. I think there yeah. is a recognisable sound. It would be really hard for me to describe what I think that is. Yeah. But I think it. I think there is something. Yeah. And when you hear people like John Carty, he's got a very, you know, he's very influenced by sort of Ross Common Leitrim area where his family are from. But he's also got something very London about him as yes. well for me. So yeah. I yeah I think there's a strong, a strong yeah, feel it's fascinating of that. Stuff, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But as a sort of progression from that, you, you, neither of us are, are, are in that community anymore. In fact, we're sort of really in places where we're, we're not surrounded by mm -hmm. all that um, music that was really fed us um, yeah. a, a, and nourished us for, for, for decades. Mm -hmm. And I wondered how you felt about that as a, being a mus an I Irish musician here in Brighton where there isn't a strong... Mm. Um, musical community in that way, although there is so much music and it's a fantastic place to be. And whether you felt that that sort of isolation in a way 
was uh, good for your music, actually sort of strengthen you, or, or what, what effect do you think it has on you? I don't think it's something I really thought about, but I've been thinking about it a lot recently, and I think um, I think I really I really miss that community. I think it, I took it for granted, mm. really, but I th I think um, yeah I I mean I there aren't there are some musicians in Brighton, and there's a really lovely session scene, and there's some lovely players, but there isn't that sort of there isn't so much nourishment. There really isn't because there aren't so many people, and there aren't. Mm there aren't the older generation of musicians at all and I think no. that's what was so special that there were there were lots of people who were really experienced musicians and there, there just isn't that in Brighton so yeah I, I really miss that and I really value that I had that I think it was hugely mm. important yes yeah, it's, it's not yeah it's 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 quite a lonely, a bit lonely place yeah in that sense yeah and and so you end up sort of you end up losing lots of tunes in a way because you're not connecting with people who are going to remind you of tunes that you know. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not great, but, but Brighton's great. It is. <laughs> yeah. Good place to be. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's a great place to be. So, um, I have to ask you this question, because I do ask you, and most people ask you um, when they haven't seen you for a little while, um, when's the Mandy Murray CD coming? Oh, God, <laughs> help! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's been on the the boiler for about twenty years, hasn't it? I don't know when it's coming out. I mean, it's just time. It's just time or space, headspace. Yeah. And it's it's always there in the back of my mind that it's something I need to do, but um, I never seem to get round to it. <laughs> there always seems to be other things that take priority. And maybe I'm just not disciplined enough. Um. Or maybe I think, you know, why would I do that? <laughs> who would be, who'd want it? You know, well, I've got a few fans. Enough people <laughs> ask you, I think, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know when it'll be out. Ten years, maybe? Same as yours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's great seeing you, Mandy Murray. Great seeing you and as well. Great, uh, yeah, plays a few tunes now <laughs> and... Uh, Thank you very much for having us. Thanks You're for the tea. You're welcome. You're welcome. And it's very <laughs> good to meet David as well. It's great. Yeah, thanks, Lovely David. Lovely to see you both. All right. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having us. You're welcome.